thereof. They race over seven furlongs in the Group 3 of Eco Solerio Stakes. They appear to get away to quite a level beginning, although pushed along through the first half furlong is Gaspar Van Wittel at the back of the pack. Pulling very hard to the outside is Mays, taken on by the grey. That's City Leader, Mays, City Leader, and towards the outside, Lindoro. Pushed out a little bit wide is Ravens Pass as they go into the first turn. Splitting rivals, Yem Kin, is right on the heels of Mays now as they go into the turn. Ernie Owl is then towards the inside rail, followed through by Pegasus again. And on the outside is Gaspar Van Wittel, and the back marker is Belgrave Square. Now, Mays pulled very, very hard through the first two furlongs, but he's out in front now by a length and a half. Lindoro's towards the outside between horses, Yemkin, the grey is city leader. Then towards the outside, Ravens Pass is travelling well here for Jimmy Fortune, and now he's come through to take a fourth position towards the outside. Next in the field is Gaspar Van Whittle, and towards the inside is Ernie Al. Belgrave Square is still at the back of the pack, together with Pegasus again. They now race inside the final furlong and a half, and here comes Ravens Pass. Ravens Pass has quickened impressively to lead now by three lengths to City Leader in second. Mays is backing out of it, trying to stay on the outside is Gaspar Van Wittel, but well inside the final half furlong now. What a turn of foot outside the final furlong. It's three out of three for Ravens Pass. Ravens Pass wins the Solario. Tight second, City Leader, and on the outside was Gaspar Van Wittel, and staying on late Belgrave Square, but it's about one horse, that one horse, Ravens Pass. We're set to go, and they're off and racing. So, we've waited a while, here he is, Kingman's second run then, the Betfred Mobile Solario Stakes, and into the lead early, the Godolphin pair, Music Theory in the all blue, just ahead of Emirates Flyer, and at the moment, James Doyle more than content to get a toe into the race, disputing third place on the outside of Rossa Corsa, although I'd say Kingman's probably now last, as they now head towards the bend and out of it a right hand turn music theory now has a pretty comfortable two to two and a half length lead and towards halfway the pace doesn't appear to be that strong emirates flyers in second place kingman now comes up on the outside of rosso corsa to just edge into third place and now they turn their heads in towards the home straight so at the halfway stage of the betfred mobile solario stakes the Godolphin pair, Music Theory, Emirates Flyer, with Kingman now switched towards the outside, and Rosso Corsa now tucked in last of all. They head then uphill, two and a half furlongs left to go, and this is the point where the hype clashes head on with reality as Kingman now makes his move on the outside. The Godolphin pair, Music Theory, and Emirates Flyer are both bustled along. Kingman and James Doyle now. James asked him to lengthen his stride here. Kingman, he's gone two lengths clear now from Music Theory and Emirates Flyer, then back in fourth place, Rosso Corsa. Kingman will remain unbeaten, comfortable enough as they head towards the line, confirming the promise of his new market debut. Kingman, he wasn't rampant, but he was good enough. And he beat Emirates Flyer and Music Theory by a couple of lengths. Last home, Rosso Corsa. For the 2017 running of the Bet Bright Solario Stakes, the juveniles over the seven furlong distance. Well away was the Irish Raider Romanized, but plenty up there with speed, including Connect and Massar. Wider out De Bruyne horse, and the pace is pretty strong. Behind those then is Persa, second to last is Arbele, and the back market is Vintager under Jim Crowley. It's Connect is going pretty hard in front, shows by a length or so to De Bruyne horse who's racing in second, two lengths away. So Massar in third, then Romanized in fourth, racing on the outside of Persa, a further two back to Arbele and Vintager with about eight lengths to find on the leader, which as they race through halfway is still Connect. Connect out in front to the light blue in second of De Bruyne horse. Behind those in third is Massar. Down to that one's inside is Persa, handy in fourth, then Romanized who's held together deeper out to find Vintager, and then came Arbele, who's now just been nudged along. They're heading towards the final quarter mile in the Solario, and Connect joined on the outside by De Bruyne Horse. Persa is trying to find its way through. Massard driven up there to hold every chance, and here comes the Irish Raider, Romanize. Massard's gone to the lead from Romanize, then De Bruyne Horse and Vintager, who stays on late. Persa now trying to stay on as well, having met trouble in the run, but it's Massard for Godolphin, who leads here from Romanize, then Arbele, and it's going to be Massard to 
win the Solario Stakes. Massa has beaten Romanized. Arbele stayed on to be third. And handy up in fourth at the line was Persa. Vintager was fifth. And they're away, racing. Too darn hot came out keenly and leads early from Arthur Kitt, but Victory Command is quick now to chase them up down the outside and heads on into the lead. Too darn hot in second place under Frankie Dettori in the pink jacket. Out the inside is Arthur Kitt, out wide Watan racing with mouth wide open, and then Dunkerran and confiding. About to turn right handed out of the back straight, and Arthur Kitt taking them along at what looks to be a fair gallop, medium pace I would say in second victory command too darn hot is third Watan caught a bit wide around that bend confiding back on the inside and Dunkerran into the home straight in the 188 bet Solario stakes Arthur Kitt the Chesham stakes winner on the inside of victory command already with four wins under his belt chased by too darn hot the favorite in third place Watan on the outside confiding in the black cap and Dunkerran now driven hard on their way towards the final two furlongs Victory Command Arthur Kitt having a right battle. Here comes Too Darn Hot now blasting down the outside and takes over in the hands of Frankie Dottori and quickly goes on. Too Darn Hot drifting away to the far rail but nicely clear of Arthur Kitt and then Victory Command and confiding and taking some good scalps here. Too Darn Hot is drawing right away in very impressive fashion and Too Darn Hot too darn good in the Solario. In second, Arthur Kitt. Third, confiding. Victory command in fourth. The odds on market leader making up the line for the Group 3 Betway Solario stakes, and away they go. And Eshazi is dropped in in the early stages in the Sheikh Hamdan colours. Full verse is ridden forward. Hector Loza quite freely on his heels. Kamiko wider in the noseband, then positive in the red white sleeves. Al Sahail and Eshazi at the back of the field. So Full verse is in to make the pace here. He's two lengths clear of Hector Loza in second. Kamiko in third. Positive in fourth place. Eshazi in fifth. And finally Al Sahail. And it's certainly a truly run contest as they swing right handed. Full verse has got them strung out. He's gone four, five lengths clear of Hector Loza. Cameco in third place. Another three lengths back to the favourite positive on the outside of Eshazi and Al Sahail in the all blue jacket. Into the home straight, about to pass the three furlong marker. Full verse still at a full clip here by four lengths to Hector Loza. Kamiko just ridden along now in third. Positive making ground. Eshazi on the far running rail and then Al Sahal still at the back of the field inside the two. Hector Loza closing on full verse. Here's positive now with a thundering run down the outside and the favourite takes it up. Out wide Al Sahal now dashing through and it's positive but here comes Al Sahal. Kamiko has rallied well inside the final furlong. Positive. Kamiko running on very strongly far side to maybe edge it positive fighting back positive and Kamiko is close at the finish positive and Kamiko probably in a photo possibly in that order Al Sahail third and a big gap to Hector Loza in fourth watch live racing now on racing tv dot com